Alrighty then, good afternoon all you fantastic people, uh, Silver Dragon here, coming at you with a uh, quick little install tutorial. Now, a lot of people have asked me for a uh, install tutorial for uh, Hardcore SK for RimWorld, uh, which is, I don't know, a bit mysterious in a way, because it's actually really easy to do, I guess just some people seem to ha still have some issues with it. So we're going to go right ahead and go through it, just because why the hell not. Uh, as quickly as we can here. So, first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the forums. I will have this linked down below and download either the most recent stable or even the most, uh, you know, right up to date version uh, of Hardcore SK. Personally, I just go to the GitHub here, clone or download, download a zip file, and then extract that zip file. Let's close this off here. Or now I'll just drag it over. That'll be fine. Once you have extracted it, of course going through it here, we have a couple of things. We have an actual little bit of guides here, just for you to read if you are so inclined. The research tree and yada yada yada. Uh, we have an updater for the pack if you so wish to make use of that as well. And then finally we have the actual mods to install. Now next thing you want to do is load up your RimWorld folder by right clicking on RimWorld in your Steam library, going properties, uh, browse local files under local, uh, local files, cough, and you should get this guy right here, Steam Apps, Common, RimWorld. Uh, now we're just going to go into the mod folder here, take everything, quick little copy and paste over here. And I say quick, as it's going to take quite a while here to actually do it, it seems. But then again, there's a lot of mods to be installed. Two minutes, are you kidding me? God damn. Well, in that case, let's move on to the uh, next step while we're waiting for this to transfer it over. For whatever reason, it's being that slow. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is find the local low uh, file. In order to do that, the easiest way that I do it is I... Let me actually load up a word pad here just to... Da, 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 da. New, please. Thank you. All right, so you're going to want to. Whoops, wrong one. You're going to want to go to your search bar in the bottom left corner of the screen. Type in app data, and this will open up your, or reveal, I should say, the roaming folder. I find this to be the easiest way just to locate it. Uh, once you've opened, there we go, to the roaming folder itself, you're just going to want to go back to app data local low and then down to wherever the hell it is if I wasn't so burned. There we go, blind. Ludden Studios, removed by Ludden Studios and then config. Here you're going to want to take the mods config copy, paste, copy and replace then you wait a while for this to transfer everything over. My god I don't know why the transfer is being this slow, possibly because I'm actually recording this. Ah, well, in that case, I'm going to stop the recording for now until this has finished its job, and then I will continue straight from there. Alrighty then, now for whatever reason, the mod pack does also include a core folder. Now as far as I'm aware, this is just the exact same core folder uh, that is used just by RimWorld itself, so I don't know why it wants to copy that over, but we can pretty much ignore that and skip that one if it pops up when you're transferring. Uh, now that that's done, literally all you have to do is just launch RimWorld. Uh, let me go ahead and do so here on the left, and then I will drag that over. Now it will take a while to actually load in here, as it has to load all those mods in place. Now, by putting the config in that area, it should automatically configure all the mods in the correct order, so we don't have to screw around with that. But I always do like to double check it just to make sure. As, uh, let me see here. Did I remove that outright? I might have to. No, there it is. Uh, as the load order suggests. Where the heck was it? I know there was a load. Oh, here we go. Core Combat Realism. Core SK. But that's just with a minimalist start if you were actually going to uh, delete several of the mods. 
those are just the bare minimum you would need to run the actual pack. Now the main way to tell whether or not you've installed the pack correctly is after 10 minutes of waiting for the game to load it should actually have the Endeavor splash screen on the back and that pretty much means everything's been successfully loaded and you're good to go. Uh, you may still get error messages, it's gonna happen, you know, bugs, yada yada yada. Either way, yep, there we go. Hardcore SK, remote project, loading definitions, loading definitions, still loading definitions, yep. Well, I guess I'll go take a nap for about another 10 minutes. <laughs> Uh, jokes aside, but anyway, it does take a while to load up when you're first hopping in, but afterwards you shouldn't have too many difficulties. But yeah, there are still bugs, you know, things will happen, crashes potentially, so do save often if you can, unless you're playing hardcore like I tend to do, and get screwed over by. So yeah. <laughs> Initializing should be ready to go here in a moment. Not responding, but that shouldn't be a problem, hopefully. Hopefully. Crossing my fingers. Hiya! It really does take its sweet time. It's like, come on. Don't screw around, let's go. Bollocks. Ah, oh, looks like it's having issues this time around. Here we go. Ooh, there's a new soundtrack too. The original one that they were using beforehand uh, was copywritten and was causing issues. Hopefully this one is not, because I'll find out here shortly. Uh, but yeah, after that you're ready to go. You can check the mods folder to make sure that everything's in the right order. Um, so we have Core, Higgs Lib, so... Uh, let's see... We load with only two active mods. Okay, so it's not a must. Uh, but it would I don't know how much it would affect it if I did that so I'm not gonna screw around with it So yeah, no error messages everything looks good. It's good to go. So that's how to install hardcore SK. It's pretty easy Should be you should have any difficulty doing it yourselves um, I for like instance for Max however, you know good luck good luck my friends I have no advice to give you whatsoever. I haven't touched a Mac in way too long many many years so any problems pertaining to that, uh, you're kind of out of luck. And uh, if anybody has any questions, if you have any issues, uh, in the guides section, there's also the uh, README, or actually in the main section of the uh, download, there's a README, uh, which has their Discord uh, for the developers of the mod packs. You can hop on the Discord for Hardcore SK, and any questions you might have or issues, you can bring it there, and hopefully someone can give you a hand. Regardless, thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day, everyone, and I uh, hope this helps some of you guys out. Peace out for now.